All right, it's on. I have no idea. Hi guys. All right, so this Monday starts Polar Bear Week. Um, we celebrate Polar Bear Week because it's the um, migration of polar bears. And as you know, because I'm sure you've heard it everywhere, polar bears are threatened, mostly because of global warming and the ice melting. So, yeah. um, this is why you should care. Polar bears are a keystone species. Um, because it's about global warming with polar bears, I mean, it saves everyone and everything. Any efforts that you do towards saving the polar bears is efforts that you do to save the whole entire world. Um, you leave a better planet for your kids because this, the polar bear threat is not a threat for the next generation, it's a threat for this generation. Um, I think they said the polar, the ice would be completely melted by um, 2040, I think it was. It's that close that um, this, this is a problem. Um, they're starving too, like they keep, they keep encroaching on human habitats and like polar bear attacks have significantly in increased. Like when I looked up polar bears, the first article was polar bear maul to um, two men. It's not their fault, they're starving, you know. I think you'd maul people too if you were starving. Um, to polar bear oh, is. A quick overview of polar bears is that they're marine mammals, technically, because they spend so much of their lives um, in the Arctic Sea. Um, they have a thick layer of body fat, um, which is a big part of the problem, is that because the ice is melting, it's harder for them to hunt, and it's high there later and later in the season they're hunting, and so um, the, the fat is, they just, they're not getting enough fat. Um, they spend 50% of their time hunting for food. As you can see, they're pretty big. This weight is actually the male weight, the 800 to 1300. I think the females are only like 400 to like 650. Um, yeah. And here's something real quick about, because this is the WWF website, which is they really want you to help out with polar bears. That's one of their big things is the polar bear. And it's because of their, the loss of sea ice, it, resulting from climate change, from global warming, polar bears are listed as a threatened species. They're not endangered anymore, but they're still threatened. But they could easily be endangered considering the ice melting gets worse and worse every year. Um, this is from the Polar Bear International website explaining what Polar Bear Awareness Week is and why it's established and why it's when it is. Um, every year, Polar Bear Week takes place during the fall polar bear migration to Churchill, Manitoba, as the bears wait for the freeze up on the Hudson Bay so they can return to hunting seals. During Polar Bear Week, we focus on how long, uh, how long are the ice free seasons are straining the limits of bears' fat reserves and threatening their survival. This year's event is November 4th to the 10th. It's the perfect time to contact your elected official and speak up in favor of action on climate change. In addition, we invite you to do your part to help polar bears and the planet by buying locally, buying less, and supporting climate-friendly companies. Here's the problem. Like, literally, the ice is gone, and they need that ice to hunt. This, this is really bad. This is one of the most popular images I see when you, um, when you search for the problem and you see the ice melting, is this poor little guy, he doesn't have any ice to stand on in the hunt. And I've seen pictures of, I mean, like you see this bulb, it's everywhere. It's like caverns of ice that they can use to hunt and to, um, to, 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 to also to sleep, because that's where they sleep. They sleep in like little ice caves, but they don't have that anymore. It's, it's melted. Him. And another big problem is the fact that um, they have to swim more to get to ice plane to ice plane and that burns a lot of fat because it's cold in that water and also they're burning energy to swim. And they're stranded. And they're stranded, yeah. See him? He's stranded. Here is also from the Polar Bear Awareness, um, the Polar Bear International website. This is what they want you to do this week. Every day you just have one little thing to do. Uh, to start off to make it easy. Uh, just watch the polar bear cam. There's a link here. Um, right now, I think they're doing the migration. They show live footage of the migration, and in the mornings they show um, 
some polar bears at a zoo. I watched it a good bit this morning, and I'll, I'll get to that on the next slide. It's really worth watching. I mean, the polar bears are amazing, and they're very beautiful to watch, and it's very interesting to watch. Um, you get to see in real time how the ice melting is affecting these polar bears, because you get to see them struggle on their migration. So you start by watching the cam. You commit to buying local and sustainable products whenever you can. You know, smaller stores, co-op, their Starbucks farm and market, you know, just local, which is great. I mean, that's great for your local economy. It's better for your health because stuff you buy at big stores usually sometimes isn't that much great for you. Um, buying less, ask yourself, do you need this? Because, you know, all that packaging, has something has to be done with it. You know, companies make that packaging, which makes pollution, like plastics and cardboards and paper and all that ends up in the ocean because some, you know, if you litter, it washes away and that hurts the environment. Um, support companies that operate sustainability. Uh, visit the Climate Count websites for ratings and fields from computers to airlines to clothing. So, I mean, there's a lot of options. You don't really have to give up anything. You just have to find alternate ways of getting them. Contact your elected official. Let them know you support action to reduce greenhouse gases emissions. Look, I know I hate doing this because they're all jerks, but um, <laughs> I, I do this every now and then with stuff that I care about, and really it's worth it because they, they want you to vote for them, and that's their whole goal. So when you have like tons and tons of people calling in about an issue, they start to listen because if they take a stand on it, suddenly they're a big hero, and they definitely, they definitely want that image of them be projected, so they want you, they want your votes. Um, celebrate Polar Bear Week with a polar bear party. <laughs> Talk about the actions you're taking to reduce your carbon footprint and encourage your guests to do the same. Uh, I know it's a little hard to do, especially short notice, but you know, just like it'd be great to do for kids. You know, really quick, have a little craft party for them or something, or just talk to your friends about it. You know, it's easy. Just... Uh, commit to becoming involved in on Saturday, Sunday. Commit to becoming involved in making your school, business, or community more sustainable. If you don't have recycling at work, start a program. If your city doesn't have a big farmers market, start one. This is really well. It's really good to do actually on Sunday, uh, Saturday, because we have that horse market. I mean, this is not you doing anything, but you know, buying locally. You can go to that um, the horse market that they do on Saturday, which is super great. It's all local people who make like local, natural, organic everything. It's so great. I, I love it. It's like one of the best markets to go to. And you can find all this on Polar Bears International in case you want to do anything. I definitely recommend the can. Okay. Since I did that today, I want to talk about my experience with um, watching the cam. Uh, I started off the day watching the Polar Bear cam at the zoo because I, I got the seven. And um, it was cute. I mean, there's a, there's a mother and she's got two older cubs, but the, and they were sleeping together. And then the cubs would get up and try and wake her up, but she wasn't having it. And then they went back to sleep, and then she got up, and it was really cute to watch them. But I really didn't like watching the migration because it was awesome. There's so many different polar bears. They have a bunch of different cameras out there, but um, it was heartbreaking because you see this polar bear trying to get across the ice and he falls and he falls and he falls through the ice. He cannot find a patch of solid ice anywhere. He like takes maybe 15 steps max before he falls again and again. And he's basically, he should be swimming at this point because he just, he steps back on the ice and he breaks it. And he steps back on the ice and he breaks it. And you can see him getting frustrated. He is just so, so, you know, aggravated with this because it's gotta be cold and it's got to be annoying to fall through the ice like that. Um, I also saw a bit of a mother with her two cubs, and that really concerned me because, you know, I saw this polar bear, this male polar bear, probably, probably male because he was alone, um, traveling by himself and having such a hard time. I really can't imagine the mother doing it and then having two cubs who keep falling through the ice behind her and then one, you know, it could easily, especially with the young cub, they could easily just fall through so many times that they become lethargic and they just can't go on and they die because it's just too hard to cross. Here's some ideas I came up with my own, not from the website. Um, easy, go to bed one hour early. You know, you save all that electricity, you feel better, you have more energy, um, you save money because you're using less electricity. 
Um, it's good. Entertain yourself outdoors. Yeah, it saves you money because you're not, you know, paying to do whatever you're doing. You know, you're not using electricity. Um, it'll increase your appreciation for nature, which, you know, helps with awareness, helps you be aware of how much you love the planet, hopefully. <laughs> Um, and it's better for your health because, you know, you're getting fresh air, you're not staring at a screen, and you're exercising probably if you're outside. Um, buy local food, that was one of the suggestions, but, you know, stuff that doesn't come in a package is you don't, you don't have all that trash that comes with the package. It does, it's not going into landfills, it's not being washed away, there's no chemicals. If it doesn't have a package, you know, it's just the rind and the fruit or whatever, um, that's better for you anyway, you know? And so, and it's better for them. So, it, so when you're helping the polar bears, you're really helping yourself. Wear polar bear stuff. Keep people thinking about it. Look, I have my little Save the Whales t-shirt on. It's not a polar bear shirt, but it makes people, people pass by and they read it and then they think about it for a little while. And maybe that's all you need, because maybe somebody will go home and research Save the Polar Bears and maybe they'll get involved and then you've helped. Even if you can't buy something, maybe they can. Maybe they go buy the big, you know, $100 package to save the bears. Or maybe they become so interested in polar bears that become the scientists who figures out how to stop this. You never know who you might touch, you know? So just wear stuff that makes people think of polar bears. Bring it up. Bring it up in conversation. Force people to think about it again. You know, it's a really interesting conversation piece. And um, there's a lot to talk about because there's a lot wrong. There's a lot happening with the polar bears. And I mean, they're cute. Who doesn't want to talk about polar bears? Um, and that maybe what I think will happen, you know, maybe the ripple effect. You know, you tell them about it, they tell someone else about it. And so maybe, you know, they donate or the next person donates and stuff like that. And so that way, you know, maybe if you've only made a $20 donation, you've actually made a $100 donation because the person you told, you know, donates money and then the person they told donates money and that's because of you. Um, come up with your own ideas and spread them around. And help, Just help out. Just research what's going on with the polar bears and decide how you want to help and what you can do. Because little, little things help. Um, here's some ways to donate and that's why I brought the little panda over there. There's all these different cute, awesome packages. Get these for kids in your life because you know what? I got that. I got you know WWF stuff a lot when I was when I was a kid. Look, let me scroll through all this. Look how cute that is. This one's expensive, I know, but that's a big that's a big bear. <laughs> this one's cute too. Little family, you get a little gift box. Look at all that. Look at all that stuff you get. Awesome. And isn't that great for kids? It's like buying, you know, a lot of people these days like to buy kids, you know, stars and stuff. Makes them feel good. You can make them feel like they own a polar bear. How cool is that? And see, here's the little one. Just $25. You get your little adoption certificate. Anyway, what I want to talk about with um, donating to the WWF and this little guy is my childhood memories. Personally, you know, obviously, um, very much like animals now, but that's because I would, I would um, get things like this for Christmas and birthdays. I would get things from the WWF, and um, it always made me love animals because I would associate those good memories with um, things from the WWF. And um, you know, it, it's just like you're giving a child much more than a little toy, and you're also donating to the animals. And WWF is great about where their funds go. I spent like an hour reading their financial reports this morning. Um, their CEO is one of the more higher paid ones for a, for a, for a um, charity organization at like $200,000, but only 8% of their profits go to um, administration. But $200,000 for an experienced Wall Street, for someone who could be working on Wall Street for millions is nothing. I mean, I don't think you could get a nice house in River Ranch for $200,000. So um, really, they're not making much for a CEO. And the only they, I, 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 um, a representative said, because somebody was asking how much a CEO got paid and why, said we pay competitively because we want to bring in um, best of the best to help our organization. But um, only eight percent goes to administration. Uh, all your money is pretty much going where you want it to go. Because I, I believe it was like maybe ninety percent went to other stuff, but everything else went to fundraising, awareness, and the program was like 
you know, like 54% of the money went to the program. Like, I think it was 20% went to fundraising. Um, a lot of it went to, some of it, no, actually very little bit of it went to awareness. But you need, you definitely need awareness training because without awareness you don't get donations. Most of everything they get is donations. Um, anyway, and so just by giving a child this, you give them a lot, a lot more than a toy. You give them curiosity and compassion. And when they associate those good memories with animal organizations, they carry it with them. And then you might inspire them to be that scientist who, you know, finds the cure and stops global warming and all of that he loved us. Bless you. And we're at the end. I just want to show you some cute little pictures. <coughs> okay, um, also, the Coca-Cola company does um, this really, they, they started this last year where they sell the white cans instead of the red ones. Last year, they raised $2 million for the WWF for the polar bears. And that was one of like the biggest and most successful campaigns that, have ever, that has ever been done for the polar bear campaign. So if they do it again this year, please buy the white cans instead of the red ones. And they have little polar bears on it. See this little polar bear can. Anyway, here are some cute pictures of polar bears. And look, little, get, get your kids to wear polar bear gear. So that's when people notice. They're like, oh, look at the cute little kid in the polar bear thing. See, buy same polar bear shirts. Look how cool these things are. I love that they have the blue tongue, like the chows, because the white chows look exactly like polar bears. I've had one. It's great. Thank you for listening. I hope you help the polar bear. Please buy something WWF for a child in your life. Thank you. Oh, you want to turn it up before you say something? Go ahead. I don't know how to turn it up. <laughs> 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 See how it is.